Hey, what's up guys? Hey, quick video here on zeroing the red dot on the Pistola. So I've gotten this question a whole bunch. Uh, most of the time I would kind of just answer the question and say, hey, I zero at this and I check it by doing this and this. Uh, and then I would defer to Scott Jedlinski's video on his YouTube channel or uh, Aaron Cowan's maybe, you know, somebody who really knows their shit on the red dot and who has been around, has, has lots of rounds down range through a red dot. Uh, and just defer to their video say hey do exactly what they tell you so I have changed refined my style of doing it just a little bit and I'll kind of walk you through it real quick we're talking about personal preference between where our bullets are gonna hit at you know 15 yards and out right so uh, for, for most people it's not gonna matter one way or the other let's just get a good perfect solid zero and let's do it without spending all day on the range in that same vein here, uh, there's a lot of people on the internet that don't know what the fuck they're talking about, talking about red dot stuff, all right? These people are putting red dots on their pistol and three weeks later doing red dot pistol videos telling people they should buy this MOA size and that this window size and this red dot and this brand and blah, 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 and you should zero at this distance. Like these, these guys don't know what they are talking about. They don't know shit, honestly. Uh, just watch out who the hell you're getting your information off of. Make sure that the guy that's teaching you some shit about some red dots didn't just mount one on his gun last Thursday. And all of a sudden he's like, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna regurgitate some shit that I heard now that I own red dot, I'm a red dot guy now. Uh, that shit's getting old quick. What distance do I do at 15 yards? Confirm a 25. What does that mean? That means I zero my, my red dot perfectly, point of aim, point of impact at 15 yards, and then I confirm that at 25 yards. Confirm doesn't mean I re-zero to 25 yards. It just means I, I know exactly where I'm hitting at 25 yards, and I know that I'm centered up and perfect the further I go back. Because if you think about it, there's not a lot of distance Okay, when you're, when you're putting a pinpoint 50 yard zero or 100 yard zero on a rifle, there's not, you know, that's enough distance to get the wiggle out of it. That's enough distance to get real precision, okay? 15 yards or 10 yards with a pistol is not enough distance to get real precision, all right? I could be off by two clicks and still think that I'm getting a perfect zero at 10 yards or 15. 25 yards with a pistol, you know mechanical accuracy of the device that that gives us as much precision as we can and it allows us to get just enough distance to really know that, that what we've just done as far as zeroing is is on point anyway I do 15 yards the the process that I use to do 15 yards is I shoot at three yards okay what I do I tried this video a second ago and I, the camera wasn't even on so I draw a little cross like this, just a simple little cross just like this. And at three yards, I'll put my dot kind of right there at the top of the cross and I'll try to put my rounds right here, okay? If at three yards, I hit over here, hit over here and hit over here, well, easily, I gotta get that thing in the center at three yards before I bother moving back. So I'll make a click or two. Normally, you're pretty good at three yards unless you got a red dot that from the factory somebody <laughs> screwed it all it's not mechanically zeroed from the factory and zeroed out uh, normally you're gonna hit it three yards and be real close so you back up to seven then seven yards same thing seven yards my group has moved closer to the center but it's not quite there um, I got it to the center in three yards and then when I shot at seven adding that little bit of distance I see that okay it's not as precise as I thought it's moved over a little bit I still have a little bit to go so at seven yards, I get that son bitch hitting right. Okay, bang, 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 get me a nice hole, ragged hole at seven yards. Guess what? We move back to 10. So I'm gonna draw a new thing at 10, and at 10 yards, I'm gonna see what happens. What I'm gonna do is give it a click or so and make sure that I get a group mashing out a hole at 10 yards. Then I move back to my 15, exact same process. I draw a new little cross. Okay, my 15 yard cross. I'm, uh, I'm pretty much drilling it, okay? 15 yards, you might have a little bit of a bigger group, but as long as the group is centered over this, I'm, I'm pretty good. That's where I start to really work in 
uh, the 10 and 15 is where I start to work with elevation. On the three yard, seven yard, I don't even mess with it. Uh, just get it horizontally right. And then as soon as I get back to 10 and 15, I start to uh, start to mess with elevation a little bit, get it elevated. Um, and then I'm gonna sit at 15 yards and chill. So what, I've, I've used what, 18 rounds or something by now? This should be a 50 round process, tops. Now I feel like I have my zero. I feel like I'm good at 15 yards. That's my zero. That's where I want point of aim, point of impact. Then at that point, I'm gonna move back to 25. I'm gonna rest the gun. I'm gonna chill. Uh, you know what I mean? Smoke a doobie if you got to. Just relax as much as you can. Just kidding. And uh, go ahead and, and run some rounds at 25 yards, five round groups or so, four round groups, and uh, confirm. So I will make adjustments at 25 yards, okay? If I notice that I'm off side to side, I will make adjustments. I, I'm not making any uh, elevation adjustments at 25 because I already know elevation wise I'm on at 15, okay? At 25, elevation wise, if you're aimed right here at uh, with a 15 yard zero, at 25 yards you're gonna be hitting above it, okay? That's just because of the converging zero, that's just how it works. Um, so you're going to be hitting right above it. If you do a 10 yard zero, you're going to be hitting a little bit higher. So you'll be a couple inches high. Again, the elevation does not matter at this point. You're just confirming windage and making sure you're really on point. You just installed that optic, right? So zeroing it today means jack shit. That just means if everything goes right, you're zeroed and the gun is done. The next time you come to the range is actually the time that you confirm everything. Okay, so we go home, we check, make sure our screws haven't moved, we got our witness marks, the plates, you know, everything is tight, all of our shit is right. And the next time I come to the range, after the gun's been, you know, carried or knocked around a little bit or something, next time I go to the range, I confirm and make sure that thing is tight, all right? That's my basic process, 10, 15 yard zero, money, good to go. You can even use a 25 if you want. I got a couple things written here real quick, and uh, astigmatism. If you got astigmatism, make sure that you are target focusing super hard, right? If you look at the dot, it looks like shit. If you look past it, it looks okay. Or even if you got a bad astigmatism, I have astigmatism. There's no real clear cut definitive answers for, for astigmatism in the whole dot realm, but for zeroing, make sure you're truly target focused, turn the dot down as, as low as you can, and that's, that's kind of a general thing across the board, turn the brightness down as low as you can while still seeing it. Uh, and then for astigmatism, whatever that shape is, whatever that blob is, use the center of it because the center of it is going to remain constant what else anything else i don't know ask questions in the comments if i didn't co cover something or if you're confused about something but that should uh that should be a, a comprehensive Okay, which, which style do I want to use? Do I want to pump?